Hello, Cancer. Rambling Mike here. I'm going to play a little bit of tarot with you, my friends. Thanks for tuning in. One more time. Appreciate your view. Yeah, no, I do. Thanks for the like. Thanks for the subscribe. Appreciate that so very, very much. Uh, big shout out for me to many, many, many of my cancer friends. Cancer, have you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form? Mwah! Thank you so very much. Appreciate it all, large or small. I do want to mention where I'm at on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I'm over there playing with the members of Ramblin' Nation. We, uh, we play twice a week, every Wednesday night, every Saturday night, 6 p.m. Eastern. I give away tarot decks. This is a tarot deck that I'm giving away on Saturday night. This next coming uh, Ramblin' Nation meeting. It is the Tarot of the Mermaids. I love Tarot of the Mermaids. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I give away t-shirts and tarot decks. So hey, if you've been thinking about becoming a member of Ramblin' Nation, we'd love to have you. Smash that join button. I'll see you this Saturday night. Rock and roll, it's rock and roll, cancer babies, cancer babies, let's do it, I feel good, I like that justice just showed up, well it jumped out of the deck in the pre-shuffle, let's see what the full blown tarot spread talks about, these are relationship spreads, they can talk about home, work, family, the neighbors, the kids, I do got some love cards for you cancer, i uh, also going to freestyle with a beautiful finesta, finestra, uh, I got some Mystic Moon Oracles. We're going to top off your full spread with a couple of Major Arcana from the beautiful, beautiful Mystic Palette. Let's do it. Cancer, Cancer, my lovely, lovely Cancer. Let's go. Tarot time, Cancer style. What's going on? We're looking for the good stuff around here. We're looking for the good stuff around here. Ooh, an Emperor showed up. Damn, that's good stuff for somebody. That's the old divine masculine energy right there. Now, Mikey's going to tell you, male or female. Um, many times, you know, in a love story, uh, I see the old the old emperor as possibly the stubborn one for a season. For a season, they may be a little bit stubborn. Ah, somebody's divine masculine just showed up as an overall right here, Cancer. Let's see what's going on. It's I like him. The, the, the emperor's a four. He's stability. Um, let's see what's going on. The old Divine Masculine card showed up here. Let's go. What's going on? What's this? What's this? Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, damn. The lightning pony came out. Cancer. Oh. <laughs> well, they may have some fire in their chart. You know, that Aries card right there. They may have some air in their chart. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, look at that, man. This is the lightning pony. Brum, 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 dun, 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 dun. Hey, hey, get out of my way. I got something to say. Oh, that's fast movement. It's a communication card. I call that my dragon slayer. What's going on with that old emperor over there, boy? They, they, kicked, they kicked that old lightning pony into a full bone gallop. Are you, are you already talking to him? Maybe. Maybe. Let's see what's going on around here. Give me one. Cancer babies, the emperor and the lightning pony. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that jumped out pre-shuffle too, didn't it? If you go back and you look when my opening, eight wands showed up. Wow, cancer. Uh, this is a lot of fast forward movement, huh? The lightning pony, eight wands, cupid's arrows of love around here. Oh la la. Ooh la la, what happened to your emperor over there? Days of stubbornness, or are they fading fast? What's going on here? Eight wands, that's a very positive card. Rapid communication, I call it Cupid's arrows of love. Oh, tell me more, tell me more, cancer, cancer. Oh, there it is right there, there's a little page of cups. It's a communication card. <laughs> uh, hi, cancer. Uh, <laughs> Uh, been thinking about you, <laughs> been thinking about you, this is a, you know, um, ooey gooey, soft and chewy, I know a lot of tarot readers, they're kind of, they're kind of rough with the page, but, oh Mikey's like, it has to start somewhere, 
has to start somewhere. This is a communication card, probably from your masculine over here, huh? Divine masculine, male or female, cancer. We got we got the lightning pony, eight wands, and you know, I don't know. It can be apologies if that's needed, or it's just a sweet, crushy, crush energy right there, huh? Maybe they want to go have some sushi because there's a fish in that cup. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe they want to have some sushi. Anyway, man, we got a lot of communications cards. Seem to have come in fast, come in fast here for you. You may already be talking about it. Wow, look at this on the bottom of the deck. Lordy, what's going on with your old emperor? Ten of cups. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 somebody figured it out around here, Cancer. Ten of cups, that's a happy ever after. Oh, man, I don't know. I don't know where they've been or what they've been doing, but no, they're getting sweet on cancer around here. Wow, a major arcana came out, cancer. It's right here on the bottom. It's that death card. It's that pale rider showing up around here. That's about a hell of a lot of transformation. Death, birth, resurrection. Major transformation on your divine masculine right here. Oh, okay. Big Scorpio card on that. Well, wow. That thing just took off like a, like a lightning pony, didn't it? Whoo, Cancer. Got some major transformation going on around here with an emperor. You may like it. Oh. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more about the old lightning pony here. Eight swords. Uh, for me, that's a jailbreak card, especially with all this energy, death and rebirth. You know, this is being all up in the head. All, you know, swords are all about the noggin, all up in their head. Five swords on one side, three swords on the other side. Oh, fives are about change. Oh, they may have found it. <laughs> wow. Wow, I keep saying wow. Um, the world card came out on your Divine Masculine. Oh, there's my world dancer right there, Cancer. There's my world dancer right there. Uh-huh. Um, it's about an old cycle ending. And a new cycle beginning. I don't know how long this old cycle went on, but definitely definitely due to, uh, to come to an ending around here. Tell me about this new world with these two. It's a new world that showed up around here. Um, a money tree came out. Hey, that's kind of exciting. Look at him peeking over the. <laughs> look at him peeking over the hedges right there. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, cancer! Yeah. Uh, this is my divine timing card. It's also the money tree on your two's new world, possibly. Damn, how's your garden grow? Oh, it seems to be growing good. You know, wow, power couple maybe, huh? Power couple, maybe maybe they figured that out. They figured something out. They broke free from eight swords. That came out after the death card. They got all out of their out of their noggin. Oh, they got some freedom. They got some freedom. Wow, I'm excited about this right here. Tell me more. Tell me more. The old divine timing card, the money tree on the other side of the new world. Ten cups. They're hoping for ten cups, right? That page of cups right there. They're hoping for ten cups. Ten cups is a happy ever after. Once upon a time, there was an emperor, and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> oh, there's my queen of love. This is my queen of love. Definitely a cancer card. Um, this is my empath. Uh, the one with psychic abilities, my healer, my dreamer. Oh, there they are right there. Divine timing, the money tree. This is agape love. This is a powerful love card for Mike. I read my cards my own way. This is, a, this is like the agape love, you know, the God kind of love, unconditional love. Oh, that's what they want. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Yeah, Hangman, uh, big Pisces major arcana. Hangman's about somebody thinking differently, feeling differently, believing differently. Dark Knight of the Soul. We'll put that over there by Eight Swords. 
since you've been gone, you know, because there's a death card here. There's a death card here, so possibly since you've been gone, what you do? You put them in the timeout chair? You ain't loving on me, right? Go over there and think about yourself in the hangman's tree. <laughs> Manifesting a new world energy on this, Cancer. Oh, wow. They just keep peeling off the bottom right here. I'm going to pull them as long as they're rocking. This is six wands. This is a, a beautiful card of victory after the battle. It's a card about confidence in oneself. It's a card about receiving the attention that you're worthy of. For a minor arcana, this can also be long-term committed energy that your emperor seems to be bringing in around here. Look at that, man. Seven of pins. After the world card, the money tree, the queen of love, and six wands. Wow. Welcome to a new world right here. Let's play with uh, the Fenestra. Let's see what the Fenestra has to say. On well, this beautiful, beautiful uh, energy that's on this board, man. Let's go, Fenestra. What have we got for my lovely, lovely Cancers right here? I just feel mellow and peaceful. I like this kind of reading. Mellow and peaceful. Tell me more, tell me more. Fenestra, what do we got here? For my lovely, lovely Cancers. Tell me. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles. Damn. Look at Queen of Pentacles energy came out after uh, Six Wands. Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, well, it is a committed energy. Queen of Pentacles, though, is also somebody, Cancer, um, grounded, balanced, stable, loving, generous, kind, on a high vibe. Somebody that already knows how to manifest financial security and comfort for oneself. So, you know, um, you probably did put them in the timeout chair and just focus on you, your business, your career, your health, your wealth. Here they come. Look at them. Look at them right here. Queen of Pins, the one that's got it going on. Looking at that pony coming in. I don't know. She kind of looks happy. Your call, though. Your call, though. Huh? Very nice. Oh, yeah. Hangman. Look at that hangman right there. Look at that old hangman. <laughs> oh, 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 since you've been gone. Since you've been gone. Four pins comes out. Four pins comes out, you know. That's that card. For me, it's that card of trying to shut the door, you know. Trying to shut the door, but it's a chakra card. It's the other... See how the heart chakra is still there? There they are right there. Hey, man. Tried to shut the door. No, no. They decided to come galloping in instead. Couldn't shut the door. Hi, Cancer. Here's my cop. Oh, la, la. I already went from a page to a knight. Already, man. Coming out of that hangman's tree. The lovers. <laughs> oh, Oh, that eight swords. <laughs> she, that's my lover. <laughs> oh, cancer's my lover. <laughs> oh, is this a four wander story? Is this somebody's 1111 story? Yeah, no, it's absolutely beautiful right here. The lovers. Now you can see somebody holding back their energy, but the heart chakra, the heart chakra, you know. Um, ain't been nothing but dark night of the soul. Ain't been nothing but hangman since you've been gone. I be saying since you've been gone because there's a death card right there. Since you've been gone, they've been hanging in a, in a double hangman's tree. Oh, Lordy. Here comes the knight. Here comes the knight of cups. Here comes the knight of cups. Six of wands. Four wands. Yeah, four wands. Look at all this, man. Wow. As that knight... There's the lovers. There's the eleven eleven card. There's the six of wands. And then there's my independent, self-assured, confident cancer right there. Well, I wish this old emperor the best. I do. <laughs> um, let's get a let's get a couple of mystic moons on this, huh? Mystic moon. Mystic moon. Well, this is conclusion. 
Well, I don't know if this kind of story is a conclusion. It might be the key that, that set him free from this Eight of Swords. But, you know, this looks like really a, a new beginning more than a conclusion. They, they're definitely ending a cycle. Death card is on here. Whatever that's about. I ain't looking backwards. I'm looking forwards. There they are. I wonder how long they've been sitting on the sitting on the cliff up there. That kind of looks like the fool card. This uh, font says uh, uh, contemplation. Contemplation. Yeah. <laughs> All the overthinkers. That's what that eight swords about. We got an overthinker here. Overthinking love right out of it. Not anymore, man. It looks like that fool getting ready to jump. They tired of the jailhouse. You know, Eight Swords can be the jailhouse of the mind. Hangman's definitely jailhouse. Hangman's about thinking differently, feeling differently, contemplation. Give me one more. Here we go. Cancer. Oh. Oh, wow. Damn. Jailhouse may have been um, the old karmic partner showed up. And that could be the jailhouse right there. Uh, the karmic partner is the teacher. You know, here in Earth School. They pretty much teach us what we don't want. Mm -hmm. So we can set our intentions and go get what we do want. Uh, the karmic partner showed up. I think school's out over here. Because as soon as we learn those life lessons, we don't need those karmic partners. So, do what's best for you. Let's go. Looks like they broke that. Oh, see? It's fun. Look, 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 look. They found self-worth. I mean, can a karmic teacher teach us that? You better believe it. You better believe it. Looks like that's what's going on here with this emperor in Cancer's reading. They found their self-worth. They fell in love with themselves. Very nice, man. Well, they've done some work. They've done some work on themselves. A couple more here for Cancer, please. The release. This is very nice, man. They released any kind of karmic energy that was holding them back, be it a person, a place, or a thing. They found self-worth with inside of themselves, huh? Give me a love card, please. Give me a love card. Cancer, 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 cancer. Love card here. I'm excited for you. Your call, though. Um, if it's, you know, they found some healing. I always root for these kind of uh, energies, but maybe been somebody else and all that. Pulled a true love card for you, though. Pulled the true love. Says this is the romance of a lifetime. I, I feel that energy right there. I feel that energy. Beautiful. Give me one more. I, I don't know. You know, we got the true love card. We got self-worth. We got the release of a karmic partner. The conclusion to that. And uh, the old divine timing card came out. Wow. Uh, Seven of Pentacles, my divine timing card for my queen of love. Okay. Somebody freed themselves. I'm, that's got to be this divine masculine over here. They freed themselves. Oh, look, look, look. They did fall in love with themselves. They're probably mirroring you. Hmm? They're probably mirroring you, Cancer. Because this is a story about somebody that fell in love with themselves. And now it's time for true love. <laughs> what a nice read, Cancer. My lovely, lovely Cancers. They're mirroring you. You know, if you fell in love with yourself during this journey, there's, there's Archangel Michael. I'm going to shuffle it up here in a minute, but he's very timely with this reading. You know, can be a reconciliation energy. Let's put him on there and shake it up here a little bit. Cancer. 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 